What are these things? Why are they here? What is their purpose? These are all the questions that I'll be answering today. Some people think they're stretch limos. Others think they're mini trucks. But they are in fact called jibneys. And this one here is called the Karen. Some are well looked after. Some look like crap. The reason why they are here is because when America was here in World War II, they left thousands of them behind. But that is not where the story ends. Not all jibneys are from World War II. In fact, the Filipinos liked the jibneys so much that decades later, they built their own versions. This one here is a Mitsubishi Triton. This one's a Toyota Hilux. And they even come in mini versions like this. This one here is an Isuzu D-Max or a Rodeo or maybe even a Ferrari. Is it a Ferrari or not? Not a real Ferrari. Okay, I'm glad he clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. We're on one of the uh, old original jibneys. Sorry, everyone. I'm too big for this thing. So this is one of the original jibneys from the uh, World War II. There's not many of them around. Yeah. A lot of the ones here, they're all the remakes. The Isuzus, uh, the Hilux, the Toyotas. What's your name of your club? Hold on, man. I'm halfway through a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the new modern ones here in Elo Elo are actually your Toyota Hiluxes, your Isuzus, and your Mitsubishis. But here we are on an original. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pay the drivers, and it is so cheap. It's 12 pesos to sort of go around. I don't know how much to go anywhere. But what we're going to do today, we are on a Jeepney mystery trip. So on this thing right here, I don't know where it's going to go. But that's the whole fun of it. So wherever he goes, we're going to jump off, and we're gonna do something with our day. How you doing, guys? Hello, how are we doing today? How much? Hello. How much is this? Twelve pesos? No problem. No problem. Okay. Oh my god! It's free today. Change of plans. What's happened is there's a bit of a, a line, so we're gonna get off one of the um, old ones, and we're gonna go on one of the new, more modern ones. And when I say modern, more sort of an 80s, 90s. This one here is next in line, so we're gonna jump on this and see where it goes. Hey, these things are super affordable. The most affordable way to get around. 12 pesos. So we just hand it down to the driver. Thank you, buddy. And yeah, we're just going to get off somewhere. Um, where are we going, do you think? Hey, look at this one. It's the McDonald's Jeepney. Advertisement of McDonald's. So here we are, the Jeepney has dropped me right here in Robinson Place, which is funny because I was actually staying at Go Hotels only about two weeks ago. But it is now time for a word from our sponsor. Feeling tired? Head all over the place? Or you just want to stay up for three days straight? Well, you need a Cobra. Specially formulated with zinc, vitamin D, caffeine and other substances that we can't name for legal reasons and it's proven to make you smarter may or may not be factually correct this man nearly bought a sting um uh, because i like it more you like it more yeah say no good. to sting why but lucky we stopped him so what are you waiting for get a cobra into you today cobra accept no imitations The thing with jeepneys is they are all unique. They come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and they've all got customizable graphics. Give me money. Give me money? Oh, okay. Um, okay, please just leave me alone. Oh man, I just got rolled. I'm only joking. See you, buddy. Get yourself saying good, yeah? But it's not all sunshine and rainbows for the old jeepney. There's a big push by the government to get these old things off the road. What's your thoughts on the old jeepneys? Should we get them off the road? Well said. 
Hey, here we go. This is the brand new Jeepney. Air conditioner, all that kind of thing. It's a sad day for the Jeepneys now that they're trying to replace them with a new modern thing, but most Filipinos say no. We're gonna ask these guys on the street what they think. How you going, buddy? I like now because the, all this uh, symbolic of the Philippines. Symbolic, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, show boys, thank you. Love your work. As, as you heard there, they are symbolic of the Philippines. Couldn't put it better myself. But they are trying to replace them. They're trying to get these new ones with the aircon. I actually like the aircon, but that's what they're trying to do. So here we are on the brand new Jeepney, which has aircon and it's actually beautiful. This feels, this feels amazing. Been in the hot sun all day. But yes, this is the inside of a new Jeepney. And these are the ones that they're trying to replace the old ones with. Thanks, man. Okay, that guy saved me. I'm really happy he spoke up. He comes on and he goes, oh, are you sure you want to go here? It's over an hour away, so I would have got myself in trouble there. Hey, have a look at this one. So there's this big convoy of cars coming here with balloons and all kinds of things. With all the jeepneys we've covered today, I'm a bit offended there's no jeepneys here. But what's your thoughts on the old jeepneys? Should we get them off the road? 